Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team game. We are back with some more leveling Lamar. Our Lamar Jackson is now a 91 overall plus 15 from the overall our Lamar Jackson and our team started off with in episode one of this series. Now, Lamar's teammates are looking pretty nice, man. Patrick Peterson, Marlon Humphrey, Jamal Adams, Jalen Smith. On the offensive side, we have Marquise Hollywood Brown. We have Taysom Hill at the tight end spot. Saquon Barkley at the running back position. This team may still be a bit behind compared to our competitors, but... Hey, they're looking pretty fun to use, and even though I'm saying they look fun to use, I hope we only use them for one game, because that means we win our first game, and then we level up our Lamar Jackson, because you guys know how this series goes. The only way to upgrade our team captain, Lamar Jackson, and all the teammates' overalls around him is by winning an online head-to-head -head game. That's how our Lamar Jackson will advance to the next overall, which will be the 93 overall Blitz Lamar Jackson, and then he'll have 93 teammates, of course. Lamar and the boys starting at their own four-yard line after that awkward opening kickoff where i believe it was saquon that just took it out of bounds that's fantastic this game is not out to a good start at all we have lawrence taylor juking a man getting his block and getting a pick six honestly this game might be a wash because that was one of the worst starts you can possibly have this time okay so it wasn't saquon it was his fellow penn state running back miles sanders who did not field that kickoff cleanly here is lamar jackson looking to um start this game off down 7-0 after whatever happened and just Calm the boys down. Second down. It's play action. It's Lamar. Of course, we got Escape Artist in that last episode. And Escape Artist is going to help us escape this game quickly by making us quit out at this rate. Third down and 30. And we got to make sure we don't get sacked for a safety. Lamar trying to buy all the time. He possibly can. And just when we were finally about to launch that ball. Yeah, we took about 10 seconds. Should have taken maybe 9.7 seconds because that ends up being the safety. We're not not quitting just yet i want to see what this guy has on the offensive end first and apparently we're not the only ones using Taysom Hill at tight end in this game. This guy's got Taysom Hill out of position, though technically not really out of position. There's no such thing as an out of position Taysom Hill. We have Jamal Adams in his rightful position at the strong safety position. And Jamal Adams, one of our three defensive superstars because enforcer. That's all you need to know. That's why Jamal Adams is on the team doing his thing as my opponent in the red zone. But he finds the wrong man in the end zone. It's Patrick Peterson for the interception. He tried to force that ball to Taysom Hill and yeah, it didn't quite work out for him as we go cross field and Robbie Anderson. Hello, nice catch. Thank you very much. Bit of a bail up. We'll take it because the way we started this game off, we can use every gift we can possibly get. But, um, yeah, uh, still not doing too well. Getting sacked. My opponent going pretty much coverage here, and I'm trying to find something, anything open. And the only thing open right now, Lamar Jackson himself. Thankfully, that fumble goes out of bounds, so no recovery for the opponent. Instead, third down and four for us. Lamar Jackson, once again, three-man rush. That is absolutely forced into double coverage and intercepted by Champ, who breaks the tackle, who gets tackled by Lamar Jackson, but puts us in a precarious position. And on the very next play, Bo Jackson able to get by once again we have darnell savage on our team and he is going in for the touchdown and that's it for this one this game was just a train wreck from the start so let's just cut our loss because um yeah like we got the interception i feel like we would have done decently defensively that game but we'll never know because offensively we were so bad that we just dug ourselves into a hole that was insurmountable to get out of so we hop into the next game against the cleveland browns afc north opponents you know somewhat it's mutt so that doesn't really matter but in real life that's the way it shapes up we have miles sanders actually fielding the opening kickoff pretty decently to the 24 yard line we'll take that we'll take this check down to marquise brown of course marquise brown has 97 speed on on his rookie premiere card so he should be pretty fun to use but in the corner with marshawn Lattimore covering not so much Lattimore gets the interception and that force pass puts us in a hole but on the very next play my opponent puts his hands in the cookie jar and you cannot put your hands in the cookie jar unless you want to throw an interception that's what happens there jamal adams with the int lamar off target uh, that was a great diving attempt by brashad perriman but unfortunately not going to be in bounds not a catch it's second down and 10 instead lamar maybe could have gotten the first down couldn't risk fumbling the ball we'll take a third down and three looking to max protect 
here. Only three on a route. Oh, what an escape by Lamar momentarily, but he's taken down by the quarterback spy. Interestingly, Sean Taylor. Fourth down, going for it. Might as well here at midfield. Don't mind this decision at all. Definitely don't mind that pass at all. Lamar Jackson over to the... Head of the defender there, getting the first down. Next play, Lamar taking off. Lamar Jackson, an escape artist, a match made in heaven as we are now in the red zone. Once again, Lamar, look at how much time our offensive line is giving us. Those boys are the real MVP. At this point, our offensive line is actually pretty good for Mutt standards. It's not God Squad, obviously. It's not like 96 or 97, but these guys can hold up. I can trust them in pass protection, especially when, you know, the opponent's only rushing three or four like our past couple of opponents have been doing but the problem with that is you know against this coverage defense we gotta find someone open and we're just not doing that once again a fourth down and three on this drive once again we're going for it and once again we convert this time it's Lamar in for the touchdown on the QB blast the first time we whip it out that game very interestingly and very strategically on a big fourth down I was like hey this fourth down is doable for Lamar Jackson especially if my opponent hasn't seen us run the quarterback blast yet and you know, we were able to do that successfully for the touchdown. Uh, looks like Russell Wilson might have cross-body dead-eye with the way he threw that pass. He's got QB playmaker, probably. He probably has dashing dead-eye. I can assume these abilities because of the way he's playing right now. And it seems like he really likes the playmaker a drag the opposite way a lot. And... That's pretty hard to stop. And you see he's only putting three on a route a lot of times. This time, the full arsenal comes out. Five on a route. Touchdown to Terrell Owens. We got our hands full in this one, all right? Even if I had my full or a full mutt team, right? Like a really good mutt team. Still got my hands full with this offense. There's a lot to worry about out here, all right? And I don't know if we have what it takes to stop that. We'll just have to see if we could trick him into, you know, throwing another turnover. Because, of course, he threw a pick on his first play. Lamar Jackson running free. Oh, he's got Sean Taylor to beat. I don't know if we can out race him but he can still take the offense all the way to the 17 yard line try to get those blocks developing on the read option doesn't quite work second down lamar can't escape that qb spy so he's got to throw the ball away at the very last second my opponent putting a defensive back as a quarterback spy once again to make sure lamar doesn't get frisky third down the pass rush gets there that time i guess we were due to get sacked like that nick bosa sneaking his way in there and on fourth down and 19 we will kick the field goal give ourselves the lead with a minute 57 left offensively you know that drive was just a one play lamar jackson run so we gotta take whatever points we can out of that one like the previous drive when we were you know going for it on fourth down every single time now we have a legitimate chance of winning this game so we gotta play like it we gotta you know strike some fear in our opponent's heart by putting him down by three see what he could do with his back against the wall so far so good you know whatever he goes five wide or you know tight slots or whatever that formation is called we got a lot to worry about here it's five wide once again and we're going against Taysom Hill a tight end again oh Jamal Adams popped that ball out for me one time CJ 2k don't don't run across the middle of the field all free nilly willy because he will fumble that ball as you see a couple of hitches we're trying to cover that he playmakers but the time it takes the playmaker and allows frank clark to get in there for the sack frank clark one of our superstars on that defensive line that's gonna be intercepted by jamal adams for the second time this game my opponent puts his hands in the cookie jar and i told you guys i was picking up on what he was doing as we get a big run with lamar jackson with 30 seconds left in the first half he playmakers to the opposite side so i kind of baited it out pretending like it was open but we were on him with adams the whole time we get the int now here we are option he's giving me the option with lamar jackson i gotta take it but his defenders are closing in on the ball well it's third down and seven only three rushing here we gotta be careful because you know field goal in the bag so if nothing's open which there is nothing open i'm fine with just throwing that ball away right there right and trying to force something and you know we'll kick our three even if we got like a first down there we didn't have much time to work with so you know, three points on that drive, we will definitely take it. As long as we don't give up three points somehow in eight seconds, which is entirely possible, given our history with this leveling Lamar squad, this series, but we're getting a nice sack right there. Josh Allen, the defensive end, Josh Allen, and we have, what, one more play here. Uh, doesn't have much going. He's playmaker and someone all the way to that left side, and he's going to force it anyways to uh, Marquise Brown. Looks like he's got his own Hollywood Brown out here, but not going to do much, and that is the way the first half had 
ends. My opponent does get ball to start the second half, and man, if we could get a stop here, maybe force one more interception, especially with Jamal Adams on fire, maybe we could even get a fumble for us. That would be so, so big for us. Just as long as we don't give up a touchdown on this drive, Wilson able to escape the rush and throw the ball away instead of getting sacked. Just an incompletion. Second down, only three on a row. Now it's four. How about Randy Moss suddenly getting himself open? It looked like he was blocking for a while there. Third down and three. Man in motion. He just needs three. He's going to get a lot more than that. Marquise Brown up the seams. He's got the first down. Especially when we're blitzing the way we are. Those seams can get open a lot. Chris Johnson reversing direction and taking the hit from Adams again. Come on, man. Chris Johnson is playing reckless. He's got to cough that up eventually. In the meantime, Randy Moss on the corner out getting the game to 15 yards at this point. It's Ben, but don't break. He's in the pretty much the red zone. Let's just not give up a touchdown. Russell Wilson getting away from the non-existent pass rush and a gain of 15 yards. Next play over the head. It's Tory Holt for the touchdown. Once again, you see, we're trying to you know, blitz, block blitz, whatever it is. That just goes over Jalen Smith's head and we're going to give up the touchdown and the PAT, which gives my opponent the lead. Light work for the Cleveland Browns, unfortunately. I would love to make that dude work a little bit more. We had him at a third down and three, but... You know, ultimately, we just didn't have enough tools to stop all the weapons, all the options he had in his offense as we run out of bounds. I'm not trying to take a hit from Pat Tillman. Even though our ball carrying is on conservative, whenever we run this QB blast with Lamar Jackson, it's always on conservative or else we would fumble a lot more. And we still fumble sometimes, but you take a hit from a Pat Tillman with Enforcer, you'll fumble no matter what your ball carrier settings are on. So that's going to be a big stop on third down, fourth and four. Uh, we come out passing here? I don't know. How <laughs> about timeout called here? And how about my opponent pauses the game? But unfortunately for us, he didn't rage quit. So now we come back out. It's only four rushing. So Lamar should have time underneath. Robbie Anderson just getting the first down. At this point, clock's starting to become a bit of an issue. What's a bigger issue, though, is the fact that we lost a bunch of yards. Next play, back to the option. This time, Lamar with space, and Lamar nearly getting the first down, and we're going to take the clock all the way down to the end of the third quarter at this point, trying to shorten this game up as, as much as we possibly can. But we got to focus on getting this third down conversion, which we do not, and once again, fourth down and four. In this range, we've always gone for it. We definitely got to go for it here. Then we got to run with Lamar Jackson. We're going to. Are we going to get the first down? Yes, we are just stretching it out away from Darnell Savage. Move the chains. And now we are in field goal range to give us the lead. But I want to take away all this clock. And we need to get one first down and take away a lot of clock. Potentially all this timeout. So we're definitely focused on that as we take it all the way down. We're just able to take this clock down to the two minute warning. Third down and 10. This will be a bit tough to convert. We'll go conservative. Running the ball with Lamar Jackson. That is absolutely boxed up. And on fourth down, the obvious choice here. We're going to take our three points. We're going to go for the lead. And we'll... I mean, I don't know if we're going to trust our defense, but we're going to put our defense in the position where hopefully they don't give up a drive to allow my opponent into field goal range. That's all he needs, down by two, to just straight up win the game. A tough situation for our defense because, you know, besides getting a couple of interceptions, we haven't really stopped this guy, but here we go. Underneath, that's going to be Terrell Owens making the catch. This guy can take his time, especially with no runoff on the mutt clock, the uh, play clock. You know, you can run the ball with Chris Johnson. You can run it anytime you get a gain of 10 yards and all you need is about 20 more to get into field goal range. Russell Wilson on fire. Back to Chris Johnson. Gaping hole up the middle. That should be a first down carry. And now he's about 10 yards out of field goal range. With a minute left in the game. Blitz is picked up. Playmaker up field. Terrell Owens getting the first down. That should officially put my opponent in field goal range. And he's running the ball here with Chris Johnson. Trying to get whatever he can at this point. We got to play aggressive. Try to force a fumble. Try to, you know, anything to force a turnover. Because he's already in position to win this game. Johnson bad stick there not able to get the first down we call our final timeout and like i said at this point we're just gonna blitz everybody hope we can stop chris johnson but that is not the case chris johnson in for the touchdown sticky little run there but i mean i would want him to score the touchdown there i'll just try and strip the ball i'm glad he scored the touchdown instead of just getting down because he gives us a chance with 41 seconds left down by five to score a touchdown and outright win the game rather than just killing the clock so I hope he feels good about that touchdown. I feel good about it. Do I feel good about our chances of winning this game? I don't know. Let's just strap him up and see what happens. And we're going to start off by trying to get the option game going on Lamar Jackson. Maybe not a good idea, but that's 
what has been working for us in this game unfortunately does not come through clutch there so now we're in a bad position 26 seconds left clock is running second down and 14 from our own 27 lamar taken down just as he was unwinding to launch the ball downfield nick bosa shedding his man and getting his second sack and we spiked the ball on third down 20 so now game on the line on fourth down only three on a route downfield we go for anderson oh look like we might have actually fluked that one out there but unfortunately it's going to be incomplete if we had caught that we would have had time to spike the ball and take one shot to the end zone there was a dig right open for the first down but i just had my mindset on just launching that ball to robbie anderson given the limited time we had and being down by five points did not work out for us it was a close game we gave him a good fight but I mean, at the end of the day, he had ball last, and he made the most of that. We would have got one more first down that last drive, and we were going for the game-winning early go-ahead field goal. That would have been so clutch, just to take away more clock, more timeouts, but just couldn't get it done. So now we match up against Dawkins, Aaron Donald, and Randy Moss. So um, not cool, not the kind of team we're looking to match up against, but we will have to do our best. We took it to that last guy pretty well. So, I mean, at this point, this 91 team, you know, at this point in the series, like I said last episode, you know, we can take it to any team, any overall. Can we win those games? I don't know, but are we going to get blown out as often? Probably not, unless we have a start the way we did in the first game when we nearly got a safety on the first play of the game on the kickoff. Here is Lamar Jackson playmakering all year to throw this ball and finally locating up the Robbie Anderson. And this game is off to a fantastic start. And it's just all by passing the ball with Lamar Jackson. Look at all of this space. The takeoff from Lamar and Lamar Jackson. Jackson is in the end zone for the touchdown. Escape artists make such a big difference in a situation like that where, you know, you get that quick burst of acceleration, man. It's hard to describe how different it is with the escape artist and without and how often those defense alignment will just tackle you down for a gain of one yard otherwise we have it on fire randy moss and it was nearly intercepted by adams you know with that randy moss ability all you can do as oh marcus allen nearly bust off the big one he gets a big run but didn't get the big run thankfully as my opponent goes play action yeah all you can do is just kind of use it yourself and kind of pray he's got the post wide open thankfully he didn't realize he's still gonna get a big point of randy moss but that could have been a lot worse for us as he runs the stretch with Marcus Allen. He's got the edge. Allen trying to juke the last man. Nearly carries two Ravens into the end zone. It is first down and goal at the one. And Allen, yeah, the offensive line just pushed. <laughs> they were going with children on the defensive line. My God, man. Like a bunch of construction trucks just paving the way. So that's going to be an easy touchdown, in other words. And how about this? Onside kick. What is going on? Oh, it's nearly recovered by the Chiefs. And it is eventually recovered by Minka Fitzpatrick. Patrick, what in the world? This guy, you're like, okay, like, onside kick? You really feel that way, my guy? I wasn't expecting it at all, so I just, you know, came out a normal kickoff return, and I didn't call a timeout. I was like, all right, whatever, let's just see if we can get this. Thankfully, we did. I probably should have called a timeout, given it is the first half, but here we are at the 29-yard line looking for more. Oh, I won that post route so bad, but I didn't trust Lamar Jackson to make the throw, and I'd rather just live to play the next down and see if we can get the first down, which we do, see if we can get a goal-to-go -go situation, which we do Lamar Jackson feeling the heat end zone Taysom Hill for the touchdown Hill at the tight end position going down the seams open and he keeps both feet inbounds and we get two touchdowns on our first two drives in this first quarter that's nice but we gotta play some defense and there is Marcus Allen going the wrong way once again this is a perfect opportunity for us to get a stop play action on third down Mahomes is spilled in the backfield three plays for a loss in a row telvin smith with the sack only two on the rush on fourth down mahomes gets it off downfield holds got it for the first down oh what happened there we had the coverage for sure humphrey playing a bit too shallow savage i guess not fast enough to keep up with holt and that post route ends up getting open i don't know how that happened but Man, fourth down and 23, and we gave it up. And now here he is, third down and six. Oh, trying to run the ball with Marcus Allen, but Jamal Adams says no gifts. And on fourth down and five, once again, we have a fourth down going for an attempt. Not going to get it. Randy Moss double covered. He forced it. He does not get it. And at the end, I guess that previous four down and 23 conversion doesn't hurt so bad since we didn't give up any points third down and five we'd love to get this first down at the two minute warning mahal or 
Lamar Jackson trying to find somewhere to go and a bit of bad stick work right there. That didn't work out too well for us. Fourth down and six, and we are not going to go for it here. From our own 29 yard line up by seven points. No reason to go for it there because we're probably not going to get it. Let's just see if we can play some defense. This guy's, you know, as long as we can stop this Marcus Allen, he has like a couple of like shot plays he runs on play action. As long as we can stop that one post route that he got earlier, then we should be good as we get this set. We've got a blitz heavy. Hope we get some pressure, and if not, just stop the downfield bomb. Second down to 19, he goes to the same exact play. He's gonna get some time. Not enough, apparently. He wants that post wrap, but we're starting to cover pretty well. Now it's third down and 35, and surely we get the stop here. He's going back to his money play. He went for earlier, and he's going to the same post, and we've got the interception with Jamal Adams. My opponent puts his hands in the cookie jar, and we're not gonna let him get away with it, and apparently, this might be forcing the rage quit. I mean, I don't know. I don't think this game is over, but this guy's had enough of playing against us, and that's fine by me. I don't know if we win this game if it goes all the way through, but I mean, he's gone. So that's a win. That is a win for the leveling Lamar squad. So now we move up to the 93 overall. Blitz Lamar Jackson. We are making great progress. We are making great progress. We have the 93 Lamar, then the 94, then the 96, and then we get that MVP 98, and then we'll, you know, 99 overall for some fun, probably. And yeah, we're making great strides in this series. And uh, yeah, 93 should be pretty fun. We should have a pretty good team for that one. So definitely tune in for the next episode. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. Subscribe for more Man 20 gameplays, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.